After what has been some of the driest Kanye months in years, we finally have something to actually look forward to with a new confirmed Vultures listening party that has a real date on the calendar. Well, after Kanye's brief but extensive visit to Moscow, Russia, where he spent time on a boat with Gosha Rubchinsky, it seems we now know the true reason for this trip was to scout potential concert venues. You guys probably remember a few weeks ago when there were rumors about a Moscow show with official signed documents actually leaking that ended up being for a previous agreement which had fallen through. That original plan was for Kanye to perform at the Luzhniki Soccer Stadium in Moscow, and it seems like that venue is still on the table, as according to Russian news outlet Baza, Kanye spent time with Gosha to visit both Luzhniki Stadium as well as VTB Arena in person. According to this article from Baza, Art Life, who are the country-specific concert promoting agency Kanye is working with, would prefer to go with Luzhniki as it can accommodate more spectators and thus sell more tickets. But apparently Kanye would prefer VTB Arena due to its modernity and better acoustics. Knowing how stubborn Kanye is, and how he pretty much always has to get his way, I'm guessing he will probably keep pushing for VTB Arena until either talks fall through again or Artlife agrees to go with that option. This honestly could be a reason Kanye initially broke off concert talks in Moscow because the reports said that the original choice was Luzhniki. But if we think back to every single Vulture show so far, they have all been inside closed roof arenas, not soccer stadiums. The only outdoor performance was at Rolling Loud, but I think with without a doubt Kanye prefers the acoustics of an indoor show, like was mentioned in the article, so I'd imagine this should end up taking place at VTB Arena. Additionally, the article states the concert is currently scheduled to take place on September 6th, finally giving us a solid timeline of expectations for Vultures 2. We previously saw Korean promoter Channel Candy put up a story with a date in late August, which could be when Kanye is going to hold the Korea and Taiwan shows. We also got further confirmation Information that August seems to be the target time frame for restarting the Vultures rollout from Ty Dolla Sign and his team. Yesterday, it seems Ty actually had a show at a club where he performed some Vulture shit and gave a shout out to his brother Ye. My brother Jay Sinatra, my brother Joe Moses, the whole team. Shout out my brother Ye. I love y'all. Let's play some Vulture shit. Unfortunately, when he said Vulture shit, he didn't mean Vultures too, but we did get some copium for an August timeline from a guy on Ty's team. Ty and Ye actually won Best Group at the BET Awards two nights ago, and this guy posted on his story congratulating Ty, including the month of August in the caption. Additionally, some fans DM'd this dude after he posted the story asking if it was related to Vultures too, to which he replied with soon. I think honestly this dude's story combined with the potential August Korea show date, along with the early September Moscow date, all are pointing me towards believing August is when the rollout will officially get going again. I'm assuming that in a few days, we will get the announcement of quite a few more Vulture shows as well, all being around that late August, early September timeframe. And finally, we got a huge group by completed for a ton of Twisted Fantasy and Good Ass Job era material, featuring various versions of both Power and Hell of a Life, along with instrumentals and a couple other unfinished tracks. One of the craziest versions of Hell of a Life that we got is dated May 11th, 2010, and features an unused hook from Justin Vernon, aka Bon Iver, and sounds honestly like a completely different song. <laughs> Additionally, we got an unfinished track titled Hype Me Up from the Good Ass Job era, along with a couple versions of a song titled Ain't No Tellin'. This one also has some versions with features from GLC and Tony Williams, and is actually like 75% finished Kanye vocals. I'm gonna holler at every bitch I see a butt back in the mall. And I don't give a fuck, I'm just gonna light, 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 light something up. And then we, I, 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 I,
messing up And you gon' call and I'ma say like nothing's up And baby, I yeah, really, really, really give a fuck I'ma try to blow my Cause I've been working hard all week And can't admit the love from all the cold la, la, la. And all I need is two more freaks And no one no, no, no. Ain't no telling what I'm gonna do What I'm gonna do Ain't no telling what I'm gonna do What I'm gonna do and finally, the last notable thing, in my opinion, is the instrumental for a song titled Give It All Away, which was seen on an official track list for Twisted Fantasy from a complex article dated to March of 2010. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you will be attending the Moscow Russia Vultures LP.